We should be there in a jiffy. No need to worry. Actually, that makes me very worried. Put that thing away before you get us all killed. Oh, right. Wow, it's beautiful. Odd world. Ah, here we go. Uh, hey, what are you doing? It was clearly straight ahead. Nonsense. The sign said Odd World was this way, and I always have to follow the signs. That's what my psychic says, anyway. Whoa, did you see that? Uh, I'm scared. I'm sure it was nothing, guys. Just. Ah! 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 Oh, my head. No! Uh, somebody! Ah! No! Come on, she's a goner. And we will be too if we don't get out of here. <laughs> there, up ahead. Oh, we lost it. You guys okay? Um, define okay. Huh? Hey, uh, you all right, dude? You got a real Megamind thing going on with your head and... This must be the thing that rushed towards us. Be ready for anything. What did you say? You can talk? Yes, please forgive my appearance and my demeanor. I have not been myself as of late and have become a bit hostile. You think? What is this place? What was that thing outside and where to take our friend? Yeah, and what's with all the black paint? You have many questions, but I worry you will not be able to handle the truth. Try us. Ah. This is the Rainbow Friend Play Place. What's left of it, anyway? Its halls used to be filled with laughter and joy, but now it's grown silent, aside from the screams. You're right. Maybe we can't handle this. No, keep going. I am known as Red, or the Red Rainbow Friend. My compatriots are blue, orange, and purple, but I'm afraid they too have been taken by him. Him? The thing that attacked us? Yes. You see, that creature was the original Rainbow Friend. Only instead of having color like the rest of us, he is made only of darkness. What happened to him? It's... it's all my fault. It all began many years ago. I was just a boy then. A silly boy with a silly dream, as my father put it. What is this? Still wasting time with these doodles of yours, Newt? Newt? Named after the great scientist Isaac Newton. My mother's choice, of course. Well, I asked you a question. They're not doodles. They're my friends. And someday, I'll make them real. Your friends? <sighs> this is worse than I thought. Your mother really did a number on you. And of course, she left me alone to deal with the consequences. <laughs> and now you're crying. You see what this supposed creativity has done to you? It's turned you into a blubbering whelp. Well, no son of mine is going to be some bleeding heart artist or egg-headed scientist. I'm going to set you straight. You see, my father only saw the world in black and white. There was no nuance, no beauty, only business. The only other color he could even pretend to percept was green. He didn't care about me, not truly. He only wanted to form me into what he considered the ideal son. But as I grew older, I knew that this perfect world he wanted for himself was just as pretend as my own dream. 
but mine didn't have to be. While I honored my father's wishes during the day, learning what I could about running a business, at night I devoted myself to science and the arts. I engorged myself on the color that existed outside of his sphere of influence, all in secret. I worked long and hard, and began building my dream. Until finally, it had come true. I told my father that I was starting a business of my own. For the first time, my old man smiled at me, until he saw what I had created. My father wasn't pleased, but I decided to give him the door anyway. As we walked the halls, he saw my designs plastered on the walls, the same friends he thought I had long since abandoned. We eventually made it to my laboratory. There I explained just how I was going to truly bring my friends to life. My father had heard enough. His perfect son was a disgrace, and thus his legacy a lie. He lunged at me. wasn't ready yet. It all happened so fast. My father's body twisted and mutated. He grew larger and larger as his skin gave way to a black mass. And then, the transformation was complete. He was the original Rainbow Friend. Black. Dad. Newt, what have you done to me? I, I didn't mean to. You'll pay for this! So Black is... your father? Yes. For years I assumed he was dead. Until just yesterday, he resurfaced. The long time beneath the Earth's surface has driven him mad. And now he only wants revenge. That's awful. Let us help you, Red. We are no match for him. Our only hope is to hide. Which is what the Black Paint is for. You see... In life, my father could only ever see the world in black and white. Nuance was lost on him, and the same applies now. So quickly, camouflage yourselves. Ah! Ah! Blue, you're alive! Red! Black's right behind me! We gotta move! Wait, who are these guys? They're Black's next victims unless we all get out of here. Follow me. Quickly now, we should be able to... Oh my god! Oh, Rainbow Friends! He's captured them all! Yeah! I'm tired of running! I'll take you on! No, wait! Father, stop this! You are no son of mine! Wait, did you guys see that? Stepping into those colored lights hurt him. Let's do this. Your friends made you weak. And now that I've taken them from you, it's your turn. Hit it. Ow! The light, the colors, it burns. It's working. Keep it up. Of course. <laughs> nice try. Dad, this is for my friends. <laughs> it's over. We did it. So... Oddworld? Oddworld?